Warning, I've made three or four tier lists before. Every one, people have something to say about. And I just wanna be clear before I get into this, whatever you think about my tier list, you're wrong. Because this tier list is my opinion. And I'm not coaching you based on what the best mechanic is in Rocket League or the best way to rank up. Because spoiler, there's no best way. I'm a peak Grand Champ 3 player. I'm gonna be speaking about what's helped me stay in Grand Champ despite having dog shit mechanics. This list is just what's worked for me. Let's get started. Starting with bronze and gold, we're gonna call the only mechanic in the bronze through gold section settings. You need to learn what the settings are because the default settings and the default controls in Rocket League are not optimal. Honestly, if you do that in bronze and gold, you'll just get to platinum. Learn the keybinds, learn how to jump, turn left. Right, Luca? Agree. Do the tutorial, learn how to jump, learn how to turn, learn how to power slide. That's all you need to get out of bronze and gold. Moving up to platinum. First mechanic I would recommend is power shots. For the purposes of platinum, if you can just stay on your side of the field and boom the ball away when it comes onto your side of the field, you'll get through plat one and plat two. Maybe you'll start to slow down at the higher platinum ranks, but in my road to SSL, stay on your half of the field, learn how to time a powerful clear by front flipping into the ball or even barrel rolling or, or, or all these dodges. And if you can hit the ball hard away from your side, that's one of the only mechanics you need at the start of platinum. If you're now platinum, you should probably start to think about training if you want to rank up. So if you're looking to rank up in these kind of generic YouTube videos aren't covering it. I created Rocket League's number one free coaching community to help you fast track your improvement off YouTube. Join to get free access to private live streams with me, free Rocket League improvement courses, a growing competitive community, ambitious ranked teammates, community chats, plus Q&A, copy and paste training routines from my team of pro coaches, and we even give away one-on-one -on -one coaching calls for our top 10 members. And if you want to win this month, join up today. It's completely free and you can leave whenever you want. I'm going to add a list of mechanics that I call the one and done mechanics. So we're going to add wave dashes. We're going to add half flips and we're going to add double jump aerials. So these are all mechanics. Once you learn them or once you unlock them, they're just a movement pattern that you can replicate forever. If you can acquire these skill sets, these moves, you will literally upgrade your kit as a player and you will be playing at an unfair advantage against against everybody else in Platinum. And I would even put kickoffs in the one and done mechanics too. I'm going to put kickoffs here. And what I mean by kickoffs is just a simple front flip kickoff, dodge into it, and then dodge into the ball. If you just learn those like four things, half flip, wave dash, kickoff, fast aerial, I don't think you can stay stuck in platinum. Because even if you have terrible decision making, you know, if you just have access to all these moves that a platinum player doesn't have access to, you're going to rank up. So all the one and done mechanics, learn those as soon as you can in your rank journey after you kind of, you know, learn how to drive around and use the controller. I put those all in platinum. Once you get to diamond, you are in what I would call the rank of control. I'll put dribbling, flicks, and bounce dribbles as our basic ground control mechanics as the first three mechanics in your diamond journey. We'll talk about aerials later, but the first thing I would learn if I were a diamond were the basics of ground control. The reason ground control is so important is because the majority of the time in your rank games below champ, the ball is going to be low to the ground, which means you've got to get basic understanding of dribbling of flicks, of bounce dribbles first, because that's what you're actually going to be able to use most of the time in diamond. Some of the lowest risk and highest reward ways to score at the low ranks include basic bounce dribbles, basic power slide cuts, and hook shots. It is the best track that you could go down to learn the game as a new player. Of course, there's a place for aerial play, and there's a reason I told you to learn fast aerials in platinum, because I do think it's important that you can jump up for a ball and clear it when it's important. But when it comes to advanced air roll, right? And aerial control and even things like air dribbles. I think that's something that comes later, or at least ideally should come after you learn ground control. Because in my opinion, ground control is the stuff that most players overlook and that most players don't think about, but actually improves your gameplay and gives you the most ranked results through diamond. Once you understand basic ground control, I would also suggest upgrading your shooting kit. For that reason, I'm going to add air roll shots as well as wall shots to your diamond kit. Air roll shots are going to open the amount of angles you can score and attack from, and wall shots are going to make you more of a threat in situations that most 
diamonds and intermediate rank players, frankly, aren't ready for. Finally, a few honorable mentions for diamond include things like shadow defense, right? Being able to save the ball backwards, as well as speed flips. In my last tier list, just under a year ago, I put speed flips in the champ ranks. But the truth is, I think Rocket League is changing. Every year, the standard for what mechanics are necessary goes up. Just to stay in the rank you wanted to stay in last year, you have to have better mechanics this year. And so for that reason, you're a serious competitive player looking for results, learn speed flips and diamond. Because yes, it might be hard. It might take you a little bit longer than if you learn speed flips later, but it's so worth it. Because if you can speed flip and diamond, you are winning 90% of your kickoffs. Because even people who can speed flip and diamond can't do it consistently. So if you can speed flip consistently, like just watch one of my tutorials before you get to champ, it'll just give you such an unfair advantage against all of your diamond ranked opponents. For that reason, speed flips last mechanic in the diamond tier. Moving on to champ, I would start to include things like directional air roll. Directional air roll is going to be the foundation of all the advanced mechanics. If I could go back in time, I would put directional air roll as the first thing I learned before any of these more advanced things. Because the last thing you want to do is learn how to air dribble or learn how to double tap or learn how to ceiling shot, right? And only be able to joystick air roll because joystick air roll is good, but it doesn't allow that sort of like deception or that next level of misdirection and car control that you get when you directional air roll and tornado spin and, and, and all the rest of it. If all these words just sound like stupid Rocket League jargon, I highly suggest you go watch my original air roll tutorial. I made an air roll tutorial like four years ago when I was learning the mechanic. Bottom line is be patient and wait to learn air dribbles and ceiling shots and all that stuff just a little bit. Start with some rings maps in champ because if you learn air roll first and aerial mechanics second, you're going to develop as a whole as a player much faster than if you try to do air dribbles and flip resets before you learn air roll. After I learn air roll, the first advanced mechanic I think is worth it to pick up in champ is air dribbles. The reason I recommend air dribbles first is because I think they're the most useful in ranked play. You can use air dribbles to sure attack the ball on net, uh, but also just move around the field. You know, just take the ball from one side of the field to the other or take the ball off defense onto offense. If for that reason, I think just being able to stay behind the ball and air dribble is slightly more useful to learn that first than maybe double taps and ceiling shot. And then once you learn air dribbles, sure, double taps, ceiling shots immediately after that. Backboard play. You have to be able to cover your backboard because you need backboard defense in order to counter all the aerial mechanics that champs are going to use on you. So for that reason, I would put air dribbles, ceiling shots, double taps, and backward play as really essentials once you're in champ. Power slide. I didn't learn how to really control power slide until GC1, and it is a game changer. Power slide makes your dribbling better. It makes your bounce dribbles better. It makes your hook shots better. It makes your recoveries better. And finally, pinches. When I made my top nine meta mechanics for 2024 video, and what I realized pre-jump wall pinches, where the opponent's beating you to the wall, but you pre-jump off the ground and like intercept the ball, those are super effective in ranked, especially in ranked 2v2. I know what you're thinking before we get to grand champ. What about redirects? Aren't redirects important for getting to Grand Champ. And if you thought that, you are absolutely wrong. Redirects are going in the snow day tier. Put them under this tier list. The reason redirects suck is because people think they're useful and then they spend time learning them and then they position upfield for redirects instead of playing behind their idiot Champ 1 or Champ 2 teammate. And then when their Champ 1 or Champ 2 teammate gets dunked or messes up the pass or does any other thing that a Champ teammate does, they get scored on and they blame their teammate. But it's not your teammate fault. It's your fault because you're sitting on the front wall expecting your champ two teammate to hit you with a dime redirect like you're Justin and he's squishy. When in reality, you're like Dollar Tree Justin and he is absolutely not squishy. You're not getting the pass. And even if you do, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree Justin, you're not scoring it. So stop learning redirects in champ. You will rank up more if you just ignore redirects until you are grand champ plus. All right, moving on to grand champ. The first mechanic I'm going to drop in here is resets. Flip Flip resets are now, in my opinion, essential as low as GC1. I was actually doing a coaching session with my coach Shock right now. He was explaining to me in our coaching session how 
he wouldn't air dribble as much as me. Uh, a flip reset, on the other hand, makes you much more threatening. It makes you more dangerous on the goal line. Next mechanic I'll put is pre-flips. And what I mean by pre-flips is any situation where you're throwing your car into the ball and just and lunging for it. Shutting down plays early before they become dangerous in Grand Champ is so important because mechanics at this level are, are night and day compared to Champ. The next thing I would put there is wall dashes and curve dashes, neutral jumps, squishy saves here. So like all these advanced recovery mechanics, things that you're using on the wall and the goal line to just get that little speed boost can be the difference between scoring or getting scored on in Grand Champ. All the ways that you can become threatening in the air become more important in Grand Champ. I'm going to call realistic air dribbles a mechanic. What I mean by realistic air dribbles is air dribble setups or aerial setups where the ball is kind of bouncing off the wall, right? So it's not cookie cutter like in your wall to air dribble pack or the ball's bouncing on the ground and you need to start an air dribble from your side of the field on the ground or even like a corner air dribble, right? Like you're taking the ball onto defense, you take it to your corner boost, then you try to air dribble it off your backboard. Like these are more realistic air dribble setups that you need to know how to convert once you get to Grand Champ. What I've been working on for the last three weeks is this training pack called realistic air dribbles. I'll show you some shots on screen, but this pack is all those setups that currently I suck at and that at least Shock has told me is what's seriously holding me back, you know, being able to carry myself to SSL. Because really, once you get to the high ranks, you got to be able to do it all. So last thing I'm going to talk about is some like, you know, I would call these like fancy finishers. So I'm going to include like the musty flick here. I'm going to include the breezy flick, musty double taps, the ceiling double taps, the double flip resets. I would include all of that in like high grade. Grand champ. I'm going to add something called dodge control, but dodge control and wall stops are these situations where sort of like with realistic air dribbles, you're making a touch on the ball and then recovering onto the wall, or you're making a touch off the wall and using your dodge to make an air dribble or create an opportunity when if you just jumped, you know, there would be no opportunity. I'll put training packs for these and links to Kevpert's uh, tutorials on these, because these are also things that I practice that I think I'm a, a little bit better at now, but you should also learn if you want to get to SSL. I'll put ceiling defense in Grand Champ 2. Once players get really good at the realistic air dribbles, it's sort of like in Champ. If a player can get an air dribble on you from every setup, you need to be able to aerial challenge them from every setup. And sometimes that's the ceiling. And you know what? I'm going to stop my tier list there. I'm not SSL currently, so I'm not even going to talk about what I think you should learn in SSL because I don't have that authority yet. Stay tuned on the channel. Let me know what you think of my tier list. Use this if it was useful. And if it's not useful for you, ignore it. This is just what's worked for me. So give that a shot. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video. Bye. Luca, show them what you're going to do if they don't like the video. Sit, 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 pause, speak, speak, speak. Oof. No, he's uh he's 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 too kind.